there's a lot going on. Portfolio submission come in, um, final reviews come in. My final review is in three weeks, which is absolutely mental and it's flown by, which is exactly why I've teamed up with Archisource to give you guys one of these. This is a cool book. What is going on ladies and Welcome back to a brand new video. And I'm literally sat here, it is Tuesday morning, and look how beautiful it is today. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. And I can never get over how nice this view is in the morning. It is really, really nice. It's lovely to get up and to know that you can open your blinds and you can look out and you can see that. It's absolutely amazing. In this video, I thought I'd just pick up the camera, take you guys along with me, show you what I've been up to, um, show you what I'm going to be doing this week, um, and just take you on a little vlog. I have to do this every single day because my face is extremely dry. Not ideal. I'm sure you guys didn't want to know that. <laughs> Moisturizer is key. Let's get on with the day. There's Thank you very much. Thank you. This is literally my favourite thing at the moment. I've been getting one of these almost every single day. Terry's chocolate orange, hot chocolate from Costa. Not cheap, but it's good. My daily trip to Regent's Park is absolutely beautiful here. It's like when you step into Regent's Park, it's almost like you're outside of the city. And I absolutely love it. Ah, peaceful. And recently on an Instagram post, if you're not following my Instagram, it's at Tom Rush Shoes, I don't know what you're playing at. Recently on an Instagram post, I was discussing the importance of um, prioritizing mental well-being as an architecture student and how we're in a space where obviously stress and anxiety is kind of normalized in the space it's not it's not great if you really think about it we're kind of pushed to do late nights we're pushed to do silly hours we're pushed to feel stressed and we're, we're kind of told that it's okay to feel stressed and it's okay to feel anxious but in reality it's not okay to feel anxious and stressed you want to be feeling good about yourself feeling productive and feeling like you're in a good workflow not a kind of toxic and, and chaotic workflow and I feel like that needs to change um, so personally for me I really try and focus on my mental well-being I try and do things like this go and sit in Regent's Park every single day um, just even for like half an hour an hour get myself a hot chocolate and break away from my flat break away from me doing work break away from my desk and just really kind of sit and just just take in some fresh air sit and just be quiet no sirens going on no ambulances flying by no no one beeping etc in the center of London it's just really really quiet and peaceful and I think this is really good for my mental well-being personally so if you're currently kind of struggling with um, the stress and the anxiety um, of architecture try and find somewhere where you feel like you can go and switch off you can go and and have a bit of peace and have a bit of quiet and kind of think through things think logically and not feel kind of stressed and chaotic and for me this is a bit of therapy coming to Regent's Park so I just really like and it's just really nice quiet and relaxing so yeah Good morning, good morning. It is the following day, people. Actually, probably walking up a hill and trying to talk to the camera is not a good idea. I'll talk when I get to the top. Yeah, this is one, one big hill. Almost there. Okay, we made it. And what you're supposed to see is a beautiful panorama of the city of London. But because it's cloudy and because it's quite early in the morning, it's looking <laughs> a bit cloudy, which is not ideal here is alexandra palace this big old thing the reason why alexandra palace is one of our sites is because in my studio we're studying architecture and media and this is one of the first bbc masks so the television broadcasting masks um so this and crystal palace are the two um bbc television broadcasting maps masks across london um so this is one of the original bbc studios which is really cool um, I find it really interesting personally. So what we're doing for this task is taking a series of images of the panorama and basically just doing a bit of a photo montage to show um, the view from the palace because it's actually quite a mad view. On a day where it's sunny, I'll put it on the screen for you now, which is pretty cool. Um, but obviously today it's a bit cloudy, you can't see much. 
um, which is a shame because it would have been nice to show you guys. But yeah, this is my site. I've been here two or three times now. Um, I've been doing mappings here. I've been doing movement mappings um, and basically focused on the mast because I find that it's quite a significant feature of the palace. Um, and yeah, we're basically in the kind of research stages of our projects at the moment. We haven't quite thought of a, an architectural proposition yet. We're starting to think about a program and what the building could be and what could it be facilitating. Um, but so far, we're just kind of exploring the site, getting to grips with the site, researching the site, um, which is quite cool. So yeah. <laughs> Some pretty cool stuff, some cool retro BBC cameras. But I need to rush back now because I'm grabbing a trim because this thing is not looking ideal. Boom, fresh trim people, what we're thinking. You can't go wrong with a nice trim, it just ups the mood drastically. When I've got a fresh trim, when I'm feeling nice and fresh and freshened up, I feel 10 times better. Don't really feel like doing work even though I should. <laughs> I definitely should be doing some work now. Um, but I'm just not in the mood. I feel quite tired from walking around doing the site visit, etc. So I might just have a little lie down for a bit. <laughs> uh, work, work, work. This is what it gets like at this time of the year when it's heading up to Christmas. There's a lot going on. Portfolio submission come in, um, final reviews come in. My final review is in three weeks, which is absolutely mental and it's flown by. Okay, people, so as I've just mentioned, my final crit is in three weeks, which is absolutely insane. I feel like I've literally just started the course and now we've got the final crit in three weeks, which is scary <laughs> and it's stressful and it's pressure, but it's good pressure. It means you've got to get on top of the work, it means you've got to fly through this work. So I thought whilst I'm sat here, I thought I'd just talk through some of the work that I've been up to um, over the past few weeks and over the past few months. I basically talk through the narrative of my project, where I started and where I'm kind of looking to go. So a couple of videos ago, you would have seen me making some kind of motion picture model, that this wheel that spins, etc. And it was kind of cool, kind of funky. And we basically created a massive version of this, a mechanical version of this, uh, which I actually posted on my Instagram. <laughs> Just another plug to my Instagram. I'm just gonna keep plugging today in this video because why not? So that is the first thing we did. It was just mad monstrous model. It weighs a ton. Um, it's hard to obviously move around and it took us, I think it took us the first three weeks of university to build that. But I'm pretty happy with it and it basically explores obviously the evolution of cinema and the mechanics behind cinema but also most importantly perspective and single point of view within framing and how the frame captures this layer of information within a set to create some kind of film, some movie, etc. And then from this point, they wanted us to go onto the site, which is the site that I just showed you, Alexandra Palace. Basically explore the site through motion and they wanted us to do some kind of mapping. So what I have done is I created some kind of taxonomy, obviously taking inspiration from Bernard Schumi and breaking down the site into different components. And basically what I've done here is I've broken down that information and created some kind of taxonomy, some kind of notation, and which allowed me to produce these drawings to show basically my experience, the experience of each route through framing, through vision in motion, and breaking down these moments into individual frames and further breaking down the frames analytically to describe the site. And although it seems very conceptual and it's a little bit bonkers, which I understand it's very abstract, it's very conceptual, um, but this is kind of the idea I was going for. I wanted it to be quite theoretical. And now moving forward, we have to decide on a program and start to implement this research into this program and create some kind of design proposal or architectural construct, which is what I'm starting to do now. So literally last night, I spent all night um, jotting down my narrative, jotting down exactly what I've done to try and kind of make sense of everything that's going on. Percy, for me, I like having everything written down. I like seeing the story and all of the bits that I've researched. And then I can start picking out key components and then I can start creating a narrative through that. So that's what I did on my Friday night. And as I've mentioned, I'm leading up to my final review, which is in three weeks. And this is the kind of time of year where you need inspiration. You need to look at precedents. You need to look at examples. You need to look at drawing representations and start getting inspired, which is exactly why I've teamed up with Archisource to give you guys one of these. This is a cool book.
This book is the first issue of the Archisource annual featuring an inspiring array of works, insights and international talents. The annual brings together a range of creatives to provide original perspectives on the industry and their creative processes. And as I'm literally sat here scrolling through this, there's some absolutely unbelievable work on here, which I'll definitely be taking inspiration from, and I think you guys should too. And you guys can win this right here, right now, on this YouTube channel or over at my Instagram, so follow these instructions. So to enter on YouTube, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment Archisource down below in the comment section, and I'll be picking a winner within the next few weeks. And if you want to enter on Instagram, you must follow my studio which is at Tom Rowe Studios. Like the post that I'll be posting and tag a friend down below in the comment section. And therefore you could technically enter in twice to give yourself double the chance of winning this book. And if you guys actually just wanna go and pick one up yourself, Go for it, I'll put a link down below in the description, but they've also got a Black Friday sale on at the moment, which finishes next Friday, so you gotta be quick. They've got 35% off UK orders and 15% off in Europe and the rest of the world with big shopping discounts, so make sure you head over to the Archisource website, pick one up yourself, but also remember, you can get involved in the giveaway and you could win one right now for free. So thank you Archisource for sending this over. I think you guys will absolutely love it. And that is gonna be a wrap on today's video, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed it. I like picking up the camera and walking around and vlogging a little bit more. I think I need to do it a little bit more often. I need to pick up the camera more because I do really enjoy vlogging um, and getting this content out to you guys. So if you really enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs button. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Peace.